Hi everyone, my name is Chris McCarthy with Ide Bailey Technology Consulting and today we're going to talk about how to import data from Excel into NetSuite using the CSV import tool and some of the other options that you have with using this tool. This will be for any NetSuite users that need to add or update data throughout the application uh, on a frequent basis or maybe just once. This tool is really useful for scenarios where you, maybe you have a third-party system that isn't directly integrated into NetSuite, but NetSuite still needs to consume that data either to drive reporting or to drive transactional process flow. This tool allows you to add customers, items, vendors, employees, uh, etc. but this will also let you uh, do the same when it comes to transactional information. So importing sales orders, purchase orders, bills, invoices, uh, even letting you manipulate individual lines on a specific transaction. So in order to begin this process, uh, we're going to use an example of importing a list of employees into NetSuite. So the first thing we need to do is create a CSV file with column headers that will mirror the fields that you would see on an employee record. So I've gone ahead and created that CSV file with some generic employee information, the first name, last name, email, phone number, etc. And some of these fields are, uh, are standard, but you can also use this tool when it comes to uh, custom fields as well. So if you add custom fields into NetSuite, you could add those as a separate header here and then uh, fill in the data to be put into the system. So once we are satisfied with the file that we have, we're going to log into NetSuite to begin the actual import process. And you can see here in the top right, I am logged in as the administrator. Uh, so take into consideration that you will need the right permission or the right role to be able to access the CSV import tool and to use it. And if you don't have the right permissions, contact your system administrator and they can help set you up with that uh, CSV import tool. So we're going to navigate to the tool by going to Setup, Import, Export, and then we'll hover over the Import task here for a second and talk about some of the options under these tasks. So Import CSV Records, this is where you're going to specify what data we're loading into the system, whether you're adding data, updating data, and also uh, developing the data mapping uh, that NetSuite's going to use to match those headers to the fields within NetSuite. View CSV import status. This is where you can check the status of an import. So once you run an import, if it's uh, a pretty significant file size, you can actually go back doing your day-to-day -day job and then uh, come back to check on the status of that import. And then save CSV imports. This is one of the biggest benefits of the CSV import tool. So the import assistant will allow you to actually save import settings so that you can reuse them for later jobs. And uh, for example, this is really useful if you're importing uh, on a frequent basis, maybe journal entries to record revenue or payroll expenses, so that once you have the CSV file formatted correctly, it's really a rinse and repeat process to get that data into NetSuite. So let's continue on into the import wizard where we'll define our data mapping and make some other selections on how we get our data into NetSuite. So here we have uh, step one of the import assistant. So uh, what we're going to first select is the import type. So this type is actually going to drive a couple of different things uh, later on. So we're going to select here our employees. And then the next we're going to select record types. So we have the ability to import expense reports and employees. We're going to stick with employees. But this is very useful for uh, tra different transaction types. So if you're importing transactions, you would select transactions as the import type. And then under the record type, you would select sales order or invoice or whatever transaction type that you're importing into the system. Then these next couple options, we're not going to change these, the character encoding or the column delimiter. And we're going to come right down here to the CSV files where we will select we have the, just the one file to upload, but you do have the option to actually upload multiple files at one time. So we'll select our CSV file that we just looked at, and we'll move on to the second step here where we have some other import options here as well. So there are three types of data handling options within the import assistant, add, update, add or update. So add you would use if all the records you're importing are new to NetSuite, update 
would be if all of the, the records already exist in NetSuite and you're just manipulating some information. Add or update is uh, if you have a file that's a mix between new files and existing files, what NetSuite will do is uh, look for those fields or those files within the system. If those records aren't there, the import assistant will add it as a new record or it will update it if it already exists. There's also uh, some advanced options we can select as well. Things like overwriting missing fields, overwrite sublists, you can select custom forms, and you can uh, also have some selections for server scripting and workflow execution. We don't need to adjust any of those advanced options, so we can actually move on to the next step here. And so you'll notice we skipped from two to four, and that's because the file mapping is only applicable if we have multiple files to upload. Since we just have the one, we will be taken right to the main field mapping where we're going to tie in our data from our CSV file into the NetSuite fields. But as we can see, based on how the file was set up, the CSV import tool is actually able to match all those fields uh, based on those CSV headers. So the employee ID is able to be found here as well on the right side under the NetSuite fields. And just one thing to mention, the CSV import tool is not limited to only standard fields. There also uh, gives you the ability to use custom fields. So if you're adding custom fields or updating custom fields, you can put those in your CSV file and have those as part of your import. And you can tell they're custom by this little green C on the right hand side under the NetSuite fields. So once everything is matched appropriately, we'll click next. We'll give this data mapping a name so that in case we want to use it down the line, we have that import map saved. Uh, we can also put it in the description and an ID here as well. We don't need to do that. We have our name, so we'll just save and run. And what you'll get is a pop-up of a confirmation with this green banner letting you know that this import is on its way. Uh, we can view the status here from the link that it provides in that banner, or we can actually go to Setup, Import Export, View Import Status. And because uh, it's right here, we're going to click this link, and we can see that our files were all imported successfully. And a couple other things to look at here is uh, in our first iteration, we were actually three files off. So only three files got in and three were left out. And what's nice about the import tool is it actually gives you a CSV response file. And what this is, is it basically gives you the reason as to why those particular lines weren't imported as part of that initial run. And so we can see here there's an invalid department reference key. Uh, for this specific subsidiary. So we were able to go back, change our uh, CSV file, and get our data loaded into the system. So if we wanted to take a look at our work, double check everything looks right, we can pull up an employee record now, and then we can see all the information from our CSV file has been loaded into the custom record and uh, looks looks good from here. So. That is how you use the CSV import tool. And as always, if you have any questions, our team is here to help. Click the link below to get in touch or use Sweet Answers or the Help Center to find out a little bit more about the CSV import tool. Thank you.